How's it going? Welcome to TNTKG's Turn of Thursdays. I'm your host, Spider King as always. When we last left off, the Chateau. If y'all remember me saying that I didn't find it any at all creepy, until now, and that is that I found out that um, you have to go in at a certain time, 8 o'clock. I had no idea, legit had no idea. Also, I had no idea that you can use HM moves without the Pokemon being in your party. I mean, I know I had the app for it, I didn't know I could use it. Huh, that's weird. See, I say it's weird only because when I played it on my big TV back there, the, uh, the Beedoof in question actually was shiny. But when I play it here, it's just the default color. That is odd. Maybe it's the color saturation of my TV? I have no idea. Also, Storms of all. She's growing right before our eyes. Oh, I love her. She's, she's growing up so fast. And soon we'll be kicking more ass. Once we get to Vilestone. Is it Veilstone? Veilstone or Vilestone? I have no clue. Before we get to Veilstone, I wanted to actually check out the Chateau one more time just to see if the event actually worked. And I'm wasting time! Come on! And so to not waste any more time... I'm cutting it real close. Like, legit. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god! There it is. There we go. That'll tide me over for a minute. Okay, keep going. Also, I found a um, insect plate behind the house when I came back here just one more time. I had to check it out. A lot of stuff you can find out when you look up on YouTube or look up online, but I didn't want to do something like that. I wanted to actually have the genuine experience, but I had no choice, but I wanted to find out more about the Chateau. Like, I found out the TV has Rotom, which I already know that. But I can't get it until I've actually, like, beaten the main story of the game, so I can't get it yet. But I did want to see if the event still worked. I really do. I really want to see if it actually works, even without the decks being complete, or halfway. I really want to know. And just to be sure, I'm checking my time on my phone. I'm also checking the time on the device. So basically, I'm checking time everywhere to see if it changes. Oh, so as if it's staring at me. Why have they not made a TV Rotom yet? Like, they have the option to do it, but they have not done it yet. Oh, yeah. Another thing I wanted to point out. In a video I made that's not TNTKG related, but I'll link it. Um, Hisuian Voltorb. Yeah, when I mentioned that it's the first electric grass, let me specify. It's the first naturally occurring electric grass. Rotom mowing still counts, but it's an acquired typing change. This is an actually occurring typing change. Hence why I said what I said. And I also got it wrong the last time, but uh, little tweaks and problems, it, it happens. Any minute now it should change and get creepier than it's supposed to. Hopefully. So, how's everyone doing? Doing great? I mean, I'm chilling on this Thursday, so... No sweat off my beads. Okay. Also, I figured... I don't have to mention this. I have an Absol in my team also. You can't see it behind my head, but I do have an Absol. I thought adding one would be beneficial when I face off against Fantina. Because I've heard from friends that it's no easy task. And if she's no easy task like they say, God, what's gonna even happen when I fight Cynthia? Oh, I'm having flashbacks from Pokemon Black and White and Black and White 2. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, please leave a comment saying Cynthia kicked my ass. 
or hashtag Cynthia is a beast. Something. Something Cynthia related with a hashtag. Because then you'll know the pain. Alright. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. My character's getting antsy. He's looking around back and forth. Hey. I feel you. I feel you. Don't worry. It will all be over soon. And I'll have my answer whether the freaking event works or I have to come back next time. So basically it's just a me testing it to find out. How would you have time to do this? I do. It's crazy. Ah yes, I also went to the uh, contest hall and won my first ranked battle, or ranked contest, sorry. I won the normal rank. Pretty standard start off. I don't know what I'm going to do for like the higher ranks, that's going to be crazy. Oh, can't do it. I mean, I can't put a thing, a thing on a capsule. Uh, I'm kind of nervous and excited, that's why I'm stuttering. I don't know if it's going to work. Okay. Hmm. I'm waiting for the light to change from afternoon to midnight, or just night. I'm saying midnight. There it is. Oh. Okay. Dude, is it only after I beat the main story? I heard something. Something different. I heard something different. I mean, that's just how it's supposed to sound. Hmm. Okay. So clearly the event's not going to work unless I actually have beating the main story. Kinda wish the video told me that. Like, had I known, I wouldn't be just here, here. I hate when Google thinks I'm asking a question. I wasn't even asking a question. Yeah, apparently, uh, yeah. You have to beat the main story and then come back here. Oh, poop. Well, that's a bust. Sorry for wasting your time for about eight minutes. I just had to be sure, you know? Where is the dang... There it is. Really? I can't use it? Rowan, you suck. Can't use a dang rope. Get out of a dang mansion. Man. Get... On to the real meat and potatoes, shall we? That's just bummer. Like, the video should at least let people know the event will not happen unless you've actually beaten the main story. It didn't specify. At all. And that kind of pisses me off. Because I wasted all y'all's fault. All y'all's pride. I wasted all your time with that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't know. And the video sure enough didn't explain it. So I'm just cranky and trying to apologize. Moving on. To Veilstone City. But not before making a stop at the tower. Because that's what it told me in the guidebook, to check out the tower first. Quick. 
No Pokemon. Got it. Hmm. I legit have no funny quips right now because I'm just that flustered. I don't have time for this. Geo dude, you're a sore on my ass. Now I'm gonna have to use a repel. But he never turned around. Good grief. Come on, hikers. Okay. Mm. Mm. Not right now. <laughs> Would I like to use another? Yes. But I'm not any grass. There's no grass around. Can't do it right now. I know I haven't talked to 32 people yet, but it's getting close. Yep, it's close. There we go. Where departed Pokemon sleep? This is the Lost Tower. This is the tower I was talking about. It's essentially the same as the um, the graves in Lavender Town. And just because I don't want to battle any more ghosts, and because this video would be longer than it needs to be, I want to see what they're talking about with this tower. So, more repels, please. Spray me up. I'm going to easily avoid all of you and see what's at the top. Oh, come on. Dang it! <laughs> My Pokemon were taken from me. Team Galactic did it. Ever since I've never forgiven their faces. Then why are you battling me? Take your aggression out on them. Dude, I totally want that freaking jacket. I want that jacket! Also about that jacket, that's very detailed. It legit looks like it's with stitched in. That's some detail. Good grief, Pokemon. Or Elka, you didn't have to do that. You had to go that far stretch. It's pretty dope. Sorry, pal. But I get it. that and I also need my little joy need some uh, EXP Whoa, I lost also did you see my very detailed Gyarados jacket pretty dope right yeah it's dope I want one shut up and take my money get, get. 
god. Hey, you're alive. That'll come in handy. See, I'm playing it in 3D. Let's see if I just play it as it used to be played. That's so much easier. Look at that. Slower, but easier. No. What the hell? How does going... How does going down on the D-pad do that? Can I avoid any of you? Oh, come on. Nope. No, I could. Turn. Thank you. Shish! Oh, dearie. Let me shake off my sorrows. Please, battle with me. Ma'am, I didn't want to battle you. I just want to see who's at the top of the tower. Rebecca. Her name's Rebecca. She sounds like she talks like that. Oh, don't you know? My name's Rebecca. Madam, I must kill your Bonsley. Take no ill will for it. I must kill it. Goodbye, Bonsley. Dang. Of course. I shouldn't be surprised that a Bonsley would have sturdy. That's so cute. You know what's so cute? Absorbing a child's essence. Don't do that. Don't absorb a child's essence. Don't dark crystal this mess. Okay, we good? We done? Good. Seriously, foe. I did not ask a question just because I said okay. Key few words. My sorrows have deepened. Haha. <laughs> no sweet. That'll come in handy. Yeah. Can't talk today. I was trying to say that'll come in handy. Or no, there's no pun with that. I was gonna have a pun with pun with it ready, but I don't have it. Because it's literally low sweep, so I got nothing for it. A cleansing tag. That'll come in handy. Strength. Yes. That'll come in handy. She forgets the, the uh, gym, but she knows I need the badge. Well, at least she knows. Yes, I like to use another repel. I don't want to fight. I don't want to battle any more ghosts. Hey, I've had it up to here. Ghosts. I can't call the Ghostbusters on dial-up, so yeah. No ghost, please. Can't get that item without battling him. Next time, or off-screen at least, or come back with a freaking Polkia or Dialga. I'll get Polkia when I trade with somebody. Even on my way out, I'm using a dang repel. Dang Skippy. Get move. Celestion. The place where there's runes to find unknown. I know it's that way, but I'm not exactly going to look for it right now. So, onward to Veilstone. Yeah, poop. Oh my god, why are there so many trainers? Also, how big is this route? What? I can't get through with that?
Absol, where are you going? Oh, okay. I'm legit about to look at my dang guy, but one minute. Okay, my clear path is going to be going back the way I came, back to the grass behind those two ranchers, and to the right. Got it. Got it. Thank goodness for the guidebook. Of course. And they also made a long while ago that freaking Happy, Chansey, and Blissey need to be freaking made secondary typings of fairy. Why have they not made that so? Like, it legit can learn a good number of fairy type moves. Why have they not done it? I thought I'd just bring that out and mention it because that is so dumb. Also, why is this Pikachu so huge? Is it force perspective? Like, they legit look like they're shorter than their dang Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu. Pika bleh. I'm having the worst time with speech. Another issue with this game. Scaling. Cause it seemed like that dang Pikachu was bigger than them. Darn right you couldn't win. You're lucky I didn't have two legendaries on my party. Otherwise I would have really made it worse. Wait, can breeders see me down here? Hopefully not. Cafe cabin. This room's bopping. Sada. <laughs> They're not inclined to move. Are you sure they're not just, uh, high on some stuff? Oh wow, man, I shouldn't have had that poker weed. Absol wants to follow me, that's adorable. Now this cafe is adorable. Oh wait, it's a battle cafe. No! No! I, I didn't know! I thought it was just a regular cafe where I could buy Moo Moo Milk. No! Also, she's cute. She's adorable. I didn't know it was a battle cat, bro. I swear. Is this even on me? It is. It's on the guidebook. So, yeah, it's on me. It doesn't even say it's a battle cat. It just says it's a cafe. Mmm, cafe, cafe mocha. This game keeps surprising me even with the littlest details. Like, legit, her Pokeballs on the dish are still just rocking back and forth. The little details, I swear. Now, madam, please. I'm on a quest to get to Veilstone. And I don't need any more distractions until later on off screen when I'm actually training and raising my Pokemon to level up.
I take losses with an unusually big smile. Do you find that odd at all? Yeah, it just means you're a masochist for pain. Or, like, you like seeing your Pokemon in pain. Something. Along that line. Alright, recording's still good. There we go. There's the Moomoo Milk. Dang. Steep behind prices, am I right? I kind of don't want to talk to him because he might want to battle. I regret everything. See, I thought they'd just be like willing to talk. I didn't know they were actually all ready to battle. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on me again. Also, I love how he legit looks like a nerd. <laughs> He's straight up the nerd Pokemon type. Alright. You want me getting serious? I'll get serious. Alright, still going. Gotta be sure. Gotta be sure that time. Hmm. I see you like to play hardball. Okay, we're still going. Are you sure? I don't know what you're blocking. I wasn't trying to escape. You should be more concerned about you dying. Seriously, be less concerned about me trying to escape and move, like, switch my Pokemon. I'm not concerned about that. Again, you should be concerned. It's alright. You'll find out once your pseudo is dead. I will drain your very essence. Yeah, buddy. And now that you're out of the equation, I'm sure I can probably leave. Right? Hopefully. More pseudo widows? Gee. I'm assuming he must be a collector of pseudo widows. Just my luck. When in doubt, punch it. Punch all of it. As long as the pseudo widow doesn't have sturdy, I should be good. I might be in trouble because it might have sturdy. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> That's still weird. It can learn wood hammer even though it's not a freaking grass type. I love pseudo widow. It's a freaking paradox within itself. Even when it was first introduced in Gen 2, it's still a paradox. And they need to give it uh, another evolution. I've seen like multiple evolutions or concepts for it evolving further and becoming a steel type. Like, I think it was a, based off a of Baobab. And it just looks cool. Game Freak, get on that. Straight up. When in doubt, stay with me. Punch it out. Here we go. This nerd is so dramatic.
That's a long behind route. Good grief. Just to get to Veilstone? Oh my goodness. Why is Sinnoh so huge? That's some knowledge you have there. <laughs> I was totally blindsided. Yeah, next time stop collecting pseudo Udos. This is a shiny. Surprised that's not the first thing they've actually done in Pokemon yet. Like, actually had characters. Characters who actually have shinies in their party. Like, why have they not done that yet? Dude, can I not get past him? So I have to legit battle. Great. Well, hope in one hand and Poke Poo in the other. Freaking turning in a certain direction, that way I could have gotten past without having to fight. Cuff it. What does Cuff it do? I've heard that move before. Oh! Ooh. Hmm. Alright. Might be a good move to keep. Never know. By mistake, I thought a grass type move would actually do more than whatever the heck that was. My mistake. I will strive to do better. I keep forgetting the adage, when in doubt, punch it out. Put it on a t-shirt, when in doubt, punch it out. We just freaking Monferno and Fernape's fist going out, flaming. Good idea, actually. Who knows? I might make it into a shirt. Never know. Seriously? 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 Oh my gosh, just die! I feel like when I fight the uh, steel type gym leader, I might have a bit of trouble if he's got shield arms. Not as long as I get some levels up and keep punching things, I should be fine. Now, get out of my way. Oh god, it got dark. Can I? Can I get past? No, apparently not. Oh, yes, I can. Thank you, plot armor. Plot convenience. Come on, Absol. Yeah, no. Good tip. Dang it. You're too late. I've already got a cricket tune. I don't need you. I don't need you. Oh. 
Oh, guard specs. to say how do I get through there? Can I? Can I? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> no way of no, no way of avoiding it. I was snoozing, you claim? I was snoozing, you claim. I'm merely f feigned sleep. Yeah! Wow, my grammar's off today. <laughs> I promise. It's not me. Song gun looks like dang Ryu. Quick claw, baby. And you're done. Eventually, Starlo will evolve into a Star Raptor. Eventually. It's taken this long because I haven't been training it yet. I'm getting there. My choke's about to become my slap. I need my chop. My chop's about to be my slap. Already slipping all day. Clever. But it won't save for my second turn. Do it again. Uh, surprised they haven't made a move like that that actually works for two turns. Thank God they haven't actually. I don't need to know that he's freaking gurgling. I don't need to hear that. Fist plate, wow. Alright. I love how it also, like, when you find the plates, it also gives a backstory. Also, I just realized the platform was there, so if anyone's saying, like, dude, you could have gone around easily, I could have gone around easily there, too. But I was paying attention and explaining. Here we go again. Eventually, we'll get to Veilstone. Eventually. has a lot of stuff. That's gonna be an episode. I ain't afraid of no dang fighting type. Bring it on. Bring it. I was just kidding. <laughs> I was kidding, bro. Calm down, I was kidding. Shoot. 
chill, bro. Wait, did he just use Leer? That's just something that's gonna lower my stats, not an actual attack. Okay. Switch out for this one. Make that money, money. You will fear my claws. Fear them, for they bring your death. Now, please, move aside. Like, legit, I could have gone this way, but I didn't. Problems. There's a lot of shockwave TMs out here. These are problems I don't know if I'm gonna run into more bullcrap. Oh wow, I legit can't avoid them. And I'm sure that's the way to get to Veilstone. Alright, rip it off like a band-aid. Here we go. Bring it. Come on. I'm used to it by now. Uh, female ace trainers are wearing some very suggestive clothing. Uh, are we sure this is uh, safe for the kitties? Have the uh, kitties gone to sleep? No? Then why don't you put them in bed? They shouldn't be saying this. Attention to me, only to me. Dead yet. And neither are you. One tough behind monkey. <laughs> Why not? See who gets to kill it first. Kill it for my love. Of course you had to avoid it. That tickles. Stop. No, seriously. Stop it. my power points. Try to get the veil stone, dang it. 
I keep saying it, but it's very important that I get there. Because I didn't know how long this route was going to be. Both ways, actually. This is just the one going to Veilstone. The other one is about the same length. Oh wow, you screwed up. You big time screwed up. You chose a Gyarados. You screwed up big time, buddy boy. Now go sit in the corner and think about what you did. Done. You made me lose my confidence. Did you gain the fact that you lost because you had a freaking Gyarados on your team? Against a Pokemon that uses literal electricity? Think! Think next time! Think! What will you have? Death! Finally! Failstone was in reach! Yeah, just random guy to talk to. What you gotta say? Oh. He tried talking about those Psyduck. So, this is Team Galactic's headquarter. Man, you better step off before I slap that bowl cut. Right off your freaking head. Hmm. Oh, I can't get that item until I have freaking rock climb. Ah, there we go. Veilstone. Hugh from rock. Or what? Hewn? Hewn. Now I gotta look up the word. Hewn from rock. I'm assuming it means from the stone it's born. Or something close. Well, that's been my time. Hope you enjoyed me freaking out about what's going on. Will the event still work? Won't it work? No, it won't work. So keep that in mind, kids. If you're playing the game for the first time, the event with the spookiness in the haunted chateau will not work until you've beaten the main story. Fun future fact. Also, I wish that person, again, put it in the description saying that you cannot do this until the end. I'm still miffed. I'm still miffed. So I'm going to end it right here and continue being miffed off screen. And hopefully you'll join me for the next time. For Return Up Thursday's stream. Or... Saturdays and Chill stream. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. This has been your host, the Spider King. Seeing you dudes and dudettes next time. Bye! <laughs>